Today we're going to be talking about the best filament storage practices. And this is really important because moisture can greatly affect your 3D prints and then to the point where they just do this and become so weak that the filament is just you can break it with your hands. Like it's absolutely crazy. This is kind of a big deal and I think the filament storage techniques really play a big part. The first thing to talk about is the type of filaments that you're going to be using. Everyone really knows PLA, and it got a lot of its popularity at the birth of 3D printing, and it's super popular because of its color-changing attributes, and it just looks pretty dang cool, right? It has color-changing effects. Then there was PLA Silk, which is super smooth and great for little fidget toys. I actually love PLA, but it has a big, big problem. And that big problem is that it's super weak. Here is the same part here versus here. This is PET G and this is PLA. Watch this. I'm going to bend this. Watch. That just broke, making the 3D print useless. Watch this. See that difference? Strength is a huge deal when it comes to 3D printing because we don't want to spend hours 3D printing things and just have them break. So back to what I was saying on materials, the different types of filament you use depend on the type of storage and how the moisture affects them. I find that PLA is the most susceptible to moisture over time. And to be completely honest with you guys, I'm pretty much done buying PLA altogether. It just seems like a super weak filament in comparison to something like PET-G. So if you're still using PLA, move on. I will say all of this is based on my personal experience of 3D printing. I'm just a normal dude with 10 3D printers printing nonstop. I'm not a specialist. And if you have any input, hit me up in the comments. So if you've noticed when you buy brand new filament, it comes in a box and it's always vacuum sealed in a bag. And I think this is really important to know. That's because when the filament comes into contact with moisture, that's when it starts decaying. And you can also see there's a bag of desiccant in there as well. So my advice to you, if you're going to be keeping filament over a long amount of time, get yourself a bag vacuum sealer. And yes, they have some really cheap ones on Amazon. I will say though, these things are not the greatest. It may seem like it seals right away, but then a day or two later, it completely loses its seal. And also throw some desiccants in there as well. Some people have found that just throwing them in normal Ziploc baggies works as well with the normal seals on there. It's really going to be up to your discretion how much you want to get into the store with the Ziploc bags. If I'm being completely honest with you, I'm terrible with storage. And chances are, if you're doing a lot of 3D printing, you're gonna find out the time lost in storage of figuring out what to do with your filament after you're done using it is gonna be a huge time void and it's super annoying. Chances are you're going to your 3D printers and back to your slicer, changing settings, looking at new things. You're concentrating on the files themselves and how they look off the printer and not worrying about how all the filament is sitting. I will also say that it kind of matters how much time it's going to be sitting on the shelf. If you're like me, a lot of the PLA has kind of just been sitting dormant and not being used, but I'm also buying a lot of new filament that's also being used. Like all the Pet G filament lately is being used like gangbusters and I don't need to worry about filament storage and how dry the filament is. I think it's also worth looking into filament dryers, especially, you know, the filament dryers that stand alone by themselves that have to dry before you actually throw them on the printer kind of suck because if I'm planning a 3d print on the 3d printer i have to plan the filament drying like 24 hours or 15 hours in advance and that sucks but if you can get a 3d printer that has a filament dryer built into it like this creality cfs there's actually a built-in filament dryer in it so as it's 3d printing it's also drying the filament and i know that they have a lot of modifications for the bamboo machines where you can mount these on the wall you can enclose the filament rolls as well and build a dryer like that i think all of that's a great great idea the problem with all the bags and doing all the setups or making a custom tote where you put a hygrometer in there or a dehumidifier or whatever it's just so much time and you'll realize once you get into 3d printing like pretty seriously that that time void becomes a huge annoyance and you just don't follow through with it so wrapping this up what is the best filament storage for drying them in moisture wise i think if you're planning to keep the filament on a shelf for a long amount of time get yourself a good vacuum sealed bag and you can also throw some desiccants in there and go ahead and throw it on your shelf like this right here see the desiccant in there 
and you don't have to worry about it from there. Just be careful, be wary of cheap setups like this. It'll also help to get a filament dryer while you're 3D printing. I know that they sell the standalone ones, but they're just kind of annoying to deal with. But also a lot of them, you can modify them. You can see like the grommets up here, you can just run the filament out as you're 3D printing. So some of them you can modify. And I've heard from a lot of 3D printing enthusiasts that it seems like a really big deal at the beginning on how to storage your filament and to like remove the moisture and worry about it at the beginning when you're kind of new. But once you collect more 3D printers, multiple ones of them, you just find yourself not following through with it. And it just isn't as big of a deal. And you find yourself just buying more filament and just using it. Hopefully this video helped you learn the best filament storage for moisture so that you can keep your 3D prints as strong as possible. Ugh. I just kind of like doing that. You, you probably may, might even be able to do that with a lot of the filaments, but PLA is so weak and I'm just mad about it. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Make sure to subscribe.